Today is a really exciting day for me because I think eventually the Jetta is coming back home. Uh, in actual fact, it's been my fault that the Jetta has not come home yet because every time we are done with the car, um, I always want to just make sure that, you know what, everything is, is you know, as it's supposed to be. And I'm just glad that my friend Disetso is actually that type of person who actually wants uh, basically the best. So we finally came to a conclusion that, you know what, for now, the car's ready. Let's take it to the streets. It was the first time I took the VR6 out for a very long drive. So in a way, it's like the same video that I did with the E30 where I mentioned that it was the first time that I'm taking the E30 out to an event or to meet other car guys. So it's the same thing today uh, that I'm doing with the VR6. I'm here with the VR6 chains. Uh, they're having a, a get together, a, a braai. But um, with that said, they also included the E30 chains, so it's like a VR6 versus E30 type of thing, and I'm liking it. But nonetheless, guys, uh, yo, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy with how the car performed today. On our way here, uh, we caught some hail, but it wasn't so bad. With that said, guys, I'm just gonna show you the cars that I hear. Okay, guys, so right here we have El Pemza's E30. To be honest with you, this guy, actually, this very car here, is the car that made me, um, you know, I trust an E30 that an E30 can actually do uh, long distance drives. Because the first time I met this guy was in, um, was in Valcom, and he's from Northwest, so he drove it all the way from Valcom. And I recall the time he had a petrol pump issue, but he got it sorted. And here it is again in Josie, he's driving it everywhere. So, yeah, and then right here, we've got a uh, maroon Bugandi OBD1, it's looking all right over there. We've got my friends. OBD2, that's JWW OBD2, JW projects. So check them out, or check him out rather. But yeah, car's looking nice. Yeah, I know it's got the BBS, uh, OBD1 BBS, but uh, the six bar rims are in for the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the BBS, um, the six bar rims are actually in for a reefer, but I th really think it looks good. Then we've got Mbos, <laughs> OBD2 right here, looking very, very, very hella dope. Clean car, this, very clean. Okay, and then right there, we've got the 5 ER6. So today we decided to go with 
the emolas although i actually feel that it's sitting a bit high but unfortunately uh there was not enough time to bring it down but during the week or maybe tomorrow we'll try and bring it down but look at that mm. loving it jerry's obd1 right there and then we've got ltk in the building so ltk is actually hosting us sansa sansa's hosting us and he's running a r32 in there looking very nice looking very nice and then also my dog our things our things our things beautifully 30s right chat beautifully 30 right chat guys got the two door over there and then we've got the champagne four door oh makes me miss my car mm, very nice cars these so the two door G snob MP probably seen it on the road or in on Insta and the car is looking very nice looking very proper clean inside and yeah and then also here look at this beautiful old school golfy what a beauty what a beauty this also is running an R32 Moto, actually, not is it R32 or V6, I'm sorry, R32 or R36, not sure guys, uh, but nonetheless, you will put it down in the comments below, but damn, I must say, uh, the gent here really did an amazing job, so apparently this is the gent who did the swap on that vehicle, and yeah, you can tell, look at how clean this car is. Look at how clean this car is. This, this guy's the steering wheel right here is also something that you don't just get um, very rare to find. And that there is Sugar Bash's TT Gen 1 on bags. That there was at uh, Camp Fest. I think in my last video, uh, the Camp Fest video, I spoke about that one. Then we've got the... Uh, what's this color again? <laughs> I, sorry guys yeah but uh it's uh a color that uh we we normally find on the e30s looking all right looking all right touch here and there but we as we drive them nonetheless another vr6 similar to our vr6 and then we've got hypes hypes uh tt gen 1 also he also just uh, did an exhaust job on the and that car guys is very loud very very loud I mean when we were on the freeway didn't even hear my car just hearing this car so yeah guys so this is where we are today with the jeans i'm sure other people are still going to come through but for now just wanted to show you what is happening and that's a wrap for today folks thank you so much for tuning in your support truly means the world to me before you go if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button we are on a mission to reach 1,000 subscribers and I know with your help, we can make it happen. Also, quick shout out to our sponsor for today's video, my incredible tire shine product. If you want to keep your wheels that showroom shine, head over to our Instagram at fire underscore E30 and place an order. Trust me, your car will thank you for it. Fire and out.